first, we explore the incredibly scary and unbelievably tedious adventure of scuba diving underneath the ice. It takes a high skill set and low tolerance for mistakes. There are a few places in Iowa where you can dive below the ice line and even fewer ice scuba divers. For them, it's a challenge that one day could help fellow Iowans in distress. But first, they must put their own life at risk. On a cool winter morning in southeast Iowa, a tradition dating back nearly 40 years continues. Oh yeah, there's two foot. It all begins with a deep, thick layer of ice, a truckload of equipment, and persistent chainsaw skills. You know, a lot of times we'll go out there's like six, eight inches. That's a lot easier to cut your hole. Doug Schmucker and Dennis Robinson have been carving these triangle-shaped holes for decades. Probably the first time it was just to say we did it. <laughs> and then we've done it almost every year, pretty much every year since then. First dive under the ice. I think was 77. Some people go ice fishing and do this or do that, and we go, we come and do this here once a year. This is my 1,285th dive today. This should be about the deepest spot right here. It'd be a triangle. We'll push that down underneath, let it float away, and when we get done today, we'll bring that back out, and we'll also mark this hole so nobody walks over it. Donning thick, dry suits with heavy scuba gear strapped to their backs. These seasoned veterans spend hours on preparation for a few minutes of icy serenity. It's the most interesting thing for me to look back at the hole, watch that line, watch all the bubbles scoot across the bottom of the ice to the, out towards the hole. If you ever drop mercury on a floor, you know, it just goes along. That, those air bubbles will do the same thing in reverse, if you know what I mean. They'll just kind of move around, and if you go up and put your hand on the ice, you can just shove them. Uh, they'll move all over the place. It's kind of a surreal thing to see. And that's the only way I can describe the environment, is surreal. It really is. It's something that uh, any diving is, where you got clear water, it's an environment that people just don't understand a lot of times. And this is another one. It's just, again, it's something to behold. It really is. Scuba diving underneath the ice requires tremendous patience and attention to detail. All divers are attached to a safety team above via rope before descending into the frozen lake and what Doug labels as a unique environment. You have what we call an overhead environment uh, where you just got to come to the surface, something goes wrong. And let's face it, the outdoor temperatures. Today we've got, a, you couldn't have a better day for it, but we've also had to go out and do this when it was 10 below zero. To me, it's not a scary feeling. It's not a. I'm very feel very secure because we have a we have a line attached to me. It, but after you've been in the water for a little bit, you really don't even know. I don't myself. I don't even notice that it's not even there unless you know unless you turn around and look up. For ice diving, Doug and Dennis wear thick dry suits enabling them to stay warm up to 30 minutes under the surface. The suits insulate heat and protect all sections of the body, except one's face. Actually, before I went in, I was actually sweating in this, because uh, what I got on here is fairly, it's, it's, it's warm, it's warm. And it's not a terribly warm, cold day either, so I suppose it's in the 20s, or lower 30s, so, but it's warm. And what initially hits your face, and. A minute or so, 30 seconds of that, you're kind of used to it. Divers take extra precautions with redundant air supplies and triple-checked diving gear. Unlikely to become a regular family wintertime tradition for many Iowans, scuba diving underneath the ice has become a labor of love for Doug Schmucker and his close friends and he successfully passed it on to the next generation. I've brought my family up. They grew up in this environment. 
So it's a little bit different with them. We've been working with them since since they were pretty young on this type of stuff. I mean, just I remember as a little kid coming out here every summer, every winter, uh, going up to the Great Lakes. I mean, he's got pictures at home of him diving up in the Great Lakes and around here, and it's he's always had that passion. It's supposed to be really clear. Um, just let her set right down. I've done cold water diving before. Why not add another element? Put under something. <laughs> Today we had Sarah in for the first time. We worked with her quite a bit beforehand, so she knew what was she was going and ran her through some drills ahead of time. And if you wonder if they want slack, give them two pulls. Go. Whenever you're ready, Sarah. So are you. Matter, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, my mask got full. First off, dip your face in the water. Right now, dip your face in the water without the mask on. There you go. Now put it on. Now put it on. I do that all the time. Ice diving began for this group as a challenge, but it gradually morphed into annual training for a very practical purpose body and object retrieval. Every year, thousands of Iowans descend on our state's lakes for fishing and recreation. Unlike Doug, these men and women have no intention of entering the frozen lake water. But tragedies have occurred. Only certified scuba divers with substantial experience are sent in on either rescue or retrieval situations. Recovered bodies, recovered boats, recovered vehicles, uh, you name it, I guess one time or another, we've probably been out working on it. If we do get that call from, you know, a various sheriff's department or, or so forth, you know, that says, hey, we got someone that fell through ice fishing or, you know, somebody's dog is underneath the ice. We know it's dead, but they kind of want closure to get that, that dog out or something to that nature. We can say, okay, yeah, we'll be there in an hour. It's going to take us an hour to get ready. And... An excuse to warm up on your ice diving skills helps keep this tradition alive but these divers are fairly particular about their practice locations. A recent trip to southeast Iowa meant a specific lake due to its history as a limestone quarry with reduced amounts of sediment and higher range of visibility. This is an old uh, limestone quarry and the water temperature is cold and stuff, so there's, you don't have all the algae and everything else growing. There is some light, pen there's light penetration. Uh, you can see it's not like if it was you know, total darkness. Once you get down there, your eyes will start adjusting. It's kind of like night vision. You could give me the tickets to the Rose Bowl and I wouldn't go, okay? Don't like being around crowds and this is what we enjoy doing. And uh, I have a saying, underground, underwater, under sail. And that's what, I that's what we pretty much do, I guess. 